On Saturday, the New York Times, the most famous and influential publication in the country, ran a front page article titled How Conservatives Weaponized the First Amendment. The author, Adam Liptak, uh, tries to make the argument that free speech is unfair and it's being used by the right to halt the progress of the left. In other words, free speech is dangerous to the agenda and has to be stopped. Let me restate something. This is the New York freaking Times, okay? It's not some back page op-ed, but it's on the front page as an actual article. The article goes on to point out how free speech cases brought to the Supreme Court back in the 50s and 60s had a much higher win rate than today. Here's a quick quote. Conservative groups, borrowing and building on the arguments developed by liberals, have used the First Amendment to justify unlimited campaign spending, discrimination against gay couples, and attacks on the regulation of tobacco, pharmaceuticals, and guns. So in other words, free speech was not only important to the left back in the day, but they pioneered the defense for the First Amendment. But now the left has completely flip-flopped. They seem to think that freedom of speech is a hindrance, and they're pissed off that the right is using their tactics to defend America's God-given rights. Article goes on, quote, Now the progressive community is at least skeptical and sometimes distraught at the level of First Amendment protection, which is being afforded cases brought by litigants on the right. Many on the left have traded absolutist commitment to free speech for one sensitive to the harms it can inflict. Huh, that's so weird. What has happened to the left? Where's the ACLU on this? Maybe their silence on this Times article is due to the fact that they've been under attack by the New York Times ever since they sued the city of Charlottesville on behalf of of a white supremacist who claimed his First Amendment rights had been violated. When did the Times begin to go, like, they're like going full-on Stalin here. I don't understand it. Is it the best weapon against speech? I thought we all understood that that was even more speech in words. That's the way we do these things, I thought, in this country. I'm curious if the author of this piece ever stopped to consider the perspective. Is it possible, maybe, that just a little bit, that the reason why there are so many First Amendment cases argued by the right and the Supreme Court lately might possibly be because the left is the one trying to infringe it. This ever pop into anybody's head? Or maybe it was just too red meat worthy and clickable to go from zero to vast right wing conspiracy in 2.2 seconds. The First Amendment, is, is it a God given right or isn't it? Is it freedom of speech something that we value or is it not? There is no gray area here. The right was wrong uh, to argue against free speech back in the 50s and 60s. And likewise, the left is equally wrong to do it today. This New York Times article is like, it's like kind of like the Antifa thug shutting down free speech on college campuses. It's just dressed up in nicer clothes and carrying a briefcase. With me now to talk about this article is First Amendment, uh, uh, is First Amendment expert, Ilya Shapiro. He's a senior uh, fellow of constitutional studies at the Cato Institute. And uh, also quoted in this article, I was surprised to see uh, that the First Amendment has been weaponized by the right. Uh, Yeah, and the point of my quote is that uh, those of us who are First Amendment uh, acolytes, who who think that the freedom of speech is foundational to everything else uh, in a free society, that this has changed somehow. I mean, in the 60s, free speech was apparently a liberal thing. Now it's a conservative thing. I mean, I don't know. I'm a classical liberal, so uh, this is all confusing to me. It really shouldn't change. The the main problem isn't the nature of the speech or the type of speech. It's that government is infringing it. And whether the speech is on a political subject, an artistic subject, scientific, commercial, or anything else, it should get protection. Uh, And, you know, currently, apparently, the, the left doesn't like that because in so many ways, government wants to compel people to express messages they don't want, whether that be in the labor context with the Janus case that was handed down at the end of term, uh, or bakers and other wedding vendors uh, in the Masterpiece Cake Shop and other cases that we see, or, or anything else. I mean, I, the real problem here is government involvement. It's not that you know, speech is somehow different or conservative speech is okay uh, and liberal speech is not okay and in 20 years we flip. It's, it's government regulation of speech has been and always will be bad.